All right, let's take a look at uh, something called the product rule in derivatives. And if you have two functions that are themselves differentiable, meaning that you can take derivatives of, the, of both functions and their derivatives are in fact functions, then what you can do is you can take the derivative of their product and the derivative of their product is equal to the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Okay, and so here's what I tend to do with this. Uh, let's take a look at uh, an example here like uh, x cubed cosine of x is equal to, we'll, we'll call it some h of x. Okay, well you can rewrite this x cubed is the f of x, cosine of x is the g of x, and h of x then can be written as the product of two functions, f of x and g of x. So, if we wanted to find h prime of x, or the first derivative, then we would apply the product rule. And the product rule says this. You take the derivative of the first, multiply it by the second original f function, plus the derivative of the second, multiply that by the first function. The way that I do this to keep myself straight, and this also applies to an integration technique that you'll learn later on, probably in Calc 2, called the um, uh, integration by parts. First of all, write down f of x, f of x is equal to x cubed, and take the derivative of f of x. Do this separately, just uh, off on a side piece of paper, or, or better yet, if you're writing down the problem, just off on the side, so that you can refer back to it easily. And so you have the function f of x, and then you take its derivative, which the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared according to the power rule. Then write down g of x. In this case, it's cosine of x. Okay. Now, g prime of x, that first derivative, the derivative of cosine is a negative sine of x. And that's just something that you need to know. Right now, we don't know anything about uh, power expansions or, or that sort of thing. And so uh, we can't really explain that too much. Uh, but uh, I will certainly try in a subsequent uh, video. Now that we have that, we can find the derivative. So the derivative of h is equal to the first function, or f, the derivative of f times g, plus the derivative of g times f. And so if we just plug those numbers in, we get 3x squared is the derivative of f, multiply that by g, which is cosine of x, plus the derivative of g, which is a negative sine of x, times f of x, which is x cubed. And so what we're going to get when we do that is we're going to get 3x squared cosine x minus x cubed sine x. And that is the derivative of h of x. Let's work through a different one. Let's do something with, uh, let's say, a radical in it. So we'll take the example root x sine x. So again, let's call h of x equal root x sine of x. All right, so let's go ahead and identify our, our four functions here. If we identify f of x, and you can choose either one. It doesn't matter what you list first. And so in this case, I'm going to put sine first. The derivative of sine then is cosine. And then we have uh, g of x, which is our root x. And now, when we take the, the uh, derivative of the square root of x, we have to be very careful because we're going to end up with something kind of weird. And so using your power rule, we have to rewrite this as uh, x to the 1 half. And so if we take the derivative, and this, is, this would be the derivative of that in reality, uh, then when we take the derivative, we get uh, 1 over 2 root of x. And 
you can do that through the power rule, and I believe I have another example in that video. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and work our magic on the product rule. So product rule says h of x, or h prime of x, the derivative, first derivative, is equal to the derivative of the first function times the second plus the derivative of the second function times the first. And again, there's no real order here. Uh, we don't care about order at this point because you can uh, reverse multiplication, the order of multiplication and addition. And so as long as a prime and it's and the original, the other original is present, it doesn't matter in which order you do them. F prime of x, in, this, in that case, is cosine of x. G of x is root x plus, and we have g prime, which is 1 over 2 root x times f, which is sine of x. And so if we just kind of work our magic here, uh, we're going to kind of clean this up a little bit. So we have root x cosine of x cosine of x plus sine can go up top here. And so we just have sine x over 2 root x. If you wanted, I suppose you could get a common denominator and, and, and uh, have uh, a 2x cosine x plus sine x all over 2 root x, but I don't see any particular need for it. And so I'm going to let it be. And that's the product rule.